A couple of days ago, The Hill put out an op-ed titled, AI Girlfriends Are Ruining an Entire Generation of Men. Now, let's look at the wording of this. They're putting the onus on the AI girlfriends. People, I mean, things that aren't even human instead of the men that are choosing the AI girlfriends instead of real relationships. When are men ever accountable for their own behavior? So this one underneath this says, the rise of virtual artificial intelligence AI girlfriends is enabling the silent epidemic of loneliness in an entire generation of young men. It is also giving, I mean, having severe consequences for America's future. This is a picture of my last brain cell as I read that. When are men ever accountable for their own behaviors? And they, when are they going to be responsible for their own crisis in this country and globally? I don't know, but let's get into the article. How is something that seems so ridiculous, a virtual AI girlfriend, causing a future crisis among Americans? Well, with millions of users, apps have created virtual girlfriends that talk to you, love you, allow you to live out your fantasies and learn through data exactly what you like and what you don't like, creating the perfect relationship. These virtual girlfriends can even be based on real people. One influencer created an AI bot of herself named Karen, then gained over 1,000 users in less than a week, a wait list of over 15,000 people. An AI girlfriend might sound enticing. You get to connect with a super hot girl who listens to you and appreciates you 24-7 beyond choosing physical attributes down to the size of her rear end. You can pick her personality. You prefer hot, funny, bold that's what she will be. Or if cute, shy, and modest is more your cup of tea, she's got you covered. Yes, these are real attributes. You can have your AI girlfriend embody. And to be, and to be clear, these aren't cookie cutter chatbots interaction. By definition, AI learns from your reactions and is capable of giving you exactly what you want to hear or see every single time. And they have come at just the right time to assuage the, the silent epidemic of loneliness that is hitting this generation of young men. Let's look at the hard numbers. More than 60% of young men ages 18 to 30 are single compared to only 30% of women the same age, same age. One in five men report not having a single close friend, a number that has quadrupled in the last 30 years. The amount of social engagement with friends dropped by 20 hours per month over the pandemic and is still decreasing. These young men are lonely and is having real consequences. They are choosing AI girlfriends over real women, meaning they don't have relationships with real women. They don't marry them. They don't ha have and raise babies with them. America desperately needs people to have more babies, but all the signs are pointing towards fewer relationships, fewer marriages, and fewer babies. There have been 600,000 fewer births in 2023 in the U.S. relative to 15 years ago. The number of children per woman has decreased by more than 50% in the last 50 to six, I mean, more than 50% in the last 60 years. Put another way, we don't have enough people to work. Therefore, we won't be able to pay our bills, not just to another to other countries, but to ourselves. We have spent 1.6 trillion in 2021 on Medicare and Medicaid with the number of Americans on Medicare expected, expected to increase by 50% in 2030 to more than 80 million people. But over the same time period, we will only have 10 million more Americans to join the workforce. So once again, we're quantifying the wounds of women and is never simply tell these people or teach these people to have emotional intelligence, learn how to build relationships, learn how to be partners in relationships. No, it's the AI girlfriend's fault. All of this, she has quantified all of the repercussions of not having babies, but we're still not talking about the onus being put on um, society, uh, society's men and their behaviors and why people would rather go on girl dates and have pets than to pair up with them. It's not a crisis of women. This is not a crisis of women. You, I keep seeing all of these articles talk about the crisis of men, but I am not seeing anybody talk about what men and boys need to do to be better. And that's just healthcare. In 1940, there were 42 workers per beneficiary of Social Security. Today, there are only 2.8 workers per beneficiary. And that number is getting smaller. We are going broke. And the young men who will play a huge role in determining our nation's future are going there with AI girlfriends in their pockets. 
While the concept of an AI girlfriend may seem like a joke, it really isn't that funny. It is enabling a generation of lonely men to stay lonely and childless, which will have devastating effects on the U.S. economy in less than a decade. And truthfully, these people, if they don't have the capacity to relate to women, they don't deserve women. So this will not change. The crisis of lonely men will only get worse. And I don't know what to say until we fix that, until we fix their social um, ineptitude, then they deserve an AI girlfriend and the, the birth rate deserves to decline even more. So y'all go ahead, jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share.